Assalamualaikum, my name is Hafiz and I'm the author of Super Dakwa, How to Invite Super Crowds to Your Super Message. The topic I will be sharing is discovering Islamic marketing. I will be sharing with you the history of marketing and Islam, the state of Islamic marketing today, and importantly your role as an Islamic marketer. Catch me at the Young Muslim Entrepreneur Seminar on 11 January 2014. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Ustaz Syed Mustafa Segal. I'm very honored to be invited again this year. Last year, I discussed on the topic of wealth and frugality. And inshallah, I will try to recap briefly the concept of wealth in Islam and then we'll explain the kind of approach that we need to understand in order to, uh, in order to ensure that our income is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also how to attain barakah in every single transaction that we make. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was once asked on what kind of earning was best. He replied, a man's work with his hand in every lawful business transaction. According to Imam Ghazali, rahimahullah, a Muslim who has made up his mind to adopt trade as his profession or to set up his own business should first acquire himself thoroughly on the understanding of every rules on business transaction that was known as fiqh mu'amalat. This section of fiqh, many people thought is not very important. In this seminar, I will show you and explain to you how mu'amala rules is very relevant and practical in our daily lives. Hope to see all of you there on 11th of January 2014 at SIM HQ. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What is the importance and the significance of an entrepreneur? Entrepreneurs are important because they help to solve problems in the community. They think of out-of-the-box solutions and they facilitate and make things easier and more convenient for others. The role of an entrepreneur within a community is even more important because they then become the ones who provide the resources to help build and uplift that community from where they were to a better place. If you look back in history, during the time of the Prophet ﷺ, there were many entrepreneurs who contributed and helped the Muslim community and the Dawah to spread without the resources that they were able to provide for people like Sayyidatina Khadija radiallahu anha, Abdurrahman Rahman Awf, Abu Bakr Asadik radiallahu anhu. Without the resources that these amazing entrepreneurs were able to provide, the growth of Islam would have suffered. So it is now important for us to get to know these Muslim entrepreneurs, to understand the key principles that they have, that they embody and that they practiced to become as successful as they were. Those principles and values are evergreen. They will never run out in terms of the style and the importance and significance. So join me and the rest of the speakers to find out more about what these key principles are from the Prophet taught to the companions in the Young Muslim Entrepreneur Seminar this January at the SIM headquarters, inshallah. Till then, wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.